Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a haul video for you today and I love watching haul videos myself. I wouldn't say that I'm a person who does like massive hauls or anything like that because let's face it, I have a ton of fragrances already. By the way, if you wanna watch real haul videos, then check out Amy Loves Perfumes uh, channel. I'll leave her information here. Like she does massive hauls. So shout out to you, Amy. So I'm just gonna go through some of the fragrances that I've accumulated lately. This is a collective haul. I didn't click and order all of these fragrances all at once. And also I just wanna say that I'm not here to make anyone feel bad in any way. This is purely meant to lift all of our mood. <laughs> and let's face it, I love watching some bottle porn. I mean, that's what I'm here for. So let's start off with one of the earlier purchases that I've made, and this is from L'Orchestre Parfum a brand that I have briefly touched upon because I have their Neroli fragrance and this is their incense fragrance, Encense Azacusa. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is a lovely cooling incense fragrance. I got this um, when it was still warmer here and I love wearing frankincense all year round. So for me, this was a cooling incense. It could also work in the winter time, but I will probably be doing a full line spotlight on this brand. Then I got a refill or a repurchase of Enfusion d'Iris by Prada. And this is, you know, such a well-known fragrance. The scent is heavenly. This takes me to the countryside in Italy. And what I do is actually I use this as a linen spray. <laughs> it's one of my very bougie habits, but this way I just sleep as if I'm in the countryside in Italy and I feel so wonderful. I think that it's absolutely worth it. I mean, I got this for a bargain, so that's the only reason why I do use this as a linen spray. And for some reason, I never felt that this was a scent that I could uh, pull off. I didn't feel like it was personal to me, although I absolutely love the scent. So when this happens, I find another purpose for it. And for this one, it's as a linen spray. So I use this on my bed sheets. Um, and I might do like a little tutorial on how I do this, but uh, it's an eau de parfum. I got the 200 ml of the bottle. They actually used to do a linen spray a long time ago, but I can't seem to find those anymore. They had huge bottles that were actually meant for that purpose. So now I just get the biggest bottle of the EDP that I can find wherever it's on sale, and then that works for me. So love, love, love the scent. Next, I got a fragrance called Moon Milk by Stora Skugen. This is a Swedish brand, and this is probably one of the coolest bottles that I have ever seen. This isn't the reason why I bought the fragrance, of course. I mean, you know, it added to it, but I absolutely love the scent of this. This is a sharp sandalwood scent that uh, dries down in that kind of milky vein because I'm always looking for a milky type of fragrance and I will do a video on this category like a battle of the milk fragrances so if there are any that you feel that I should include in this then please let me know and so I'm going to talk more about this later but that is Stora Skugens Moon Milk. Next I got a bottle of Moustache Eau de Parfum by Rocha and this is meant to be a dupe of YSL's Tuxedo also very, very good value uh, for the price. So despite it being low price, I got it even lower. So I snapped up a bottle and I think that this is 75 mil. Yeah, this is the 75 mil of this. This is a very dashing scent and I'm gonna talk more about this as well, but this is a very me type of scent, a spicy, classy, masculine leaning type of fragrance. I also got a few fragrances that I recently mentioned in my fall lineup. So B683 by Marc Antoine Barrois, which is a spicy, leathery, good, again, in the kind of same ballpark as Moustache, I would say. I got Poudre de Liberté, which I would have done a review of already by now. And I got Patchouli by Reminiscence, which is that chocolatey patchouli fragrance, also very affordable. In the patchouli category, I also got Tempo by Diptyque, which is their patchouli fragrance. And this is also just very classy, a fragrance that people over here would call smart, you know, like smartly dressed uh, type of fragrance. Goes very well with my dress today. 
and I love this very addictive patchouli scent that isn't too much either. So in the self-care category, because obviously I have been needing to take care of myself, and I love, you know, smearing myself in oils and potions and mixing scents together. But I always wanted to get this by Maui Inner Beauty Rituals. And this is the Sacred Union Scent and Dry Oil. So this is, yeah, a bougie item, I would say. This is definitely a splurge in the dry oil category. So this is a scent. I wouldn't say that the scent is strong enough to be called a perfume. It is, you know, quite light. Um, but yeah, this is a dry oil that has a wonderful scent, a nice mix of 17 different essential oils. This smells slightly meditative and it does come with the beautiful red thread with uh, the little tassel thingy-majiggy hanging off of it that they use at Indian temples and it just feels like a very sacred, luxurious type of ritual that I'm performing on myself when I apply this scent and I mix it in with some body oil because I don't want to just use up the whole scent all over my body because it is on the pricey side. But I did feel like I deserve this this year because it's been such a <laughs> up and down year. So yeah, this is definitely if you want to treat yourself and want to smell, you know, slightly meditative, slightly spiritual, um, go for that. Next I got a fragrance from Prin Lomros, the wonderful perfumer from Thailand. And I'm telling you, I mean, I have lots of people watching my videos from around the world, but I have especially people who live, you know, maybe in Southeast Asia and don't have access to a lot of the fragrances that I mention. But I'm telling you, you have access to these. Prisana perfumes are amongst some of the most intoxicating wonderful scents that I have come across. And we have these at Bloom Perfumery here in London. But I mean, I can only imagine that they would be cheaper in Thailand, but these are extras and this is a 30 mil of Mando Dari. I lived in Southeast Asia as a child myself for nearly four years. So I do have a very close connection to Southeast Asia, uh, South Asia as well, because I also live there. And uh, Mando Dari, I mean, Prin Lomros's work is something for a whole other video. <laughs> he is absolutely a genius perfumer, and his style is, I describe it as neither East nor West. I guess maybe it could be a little bit East, because you do sort of feel those Southeast Asian influences, but he absolutely focuses on ingredients, and you can see that because there's no bling to be seen. You pay a lot for this perfume, but it all goes to the ingredients. It all goes to what is inside this marvelous juice. So if you don't feed into all of that marketing and stuff, this is definitely a brand that you should try. Just even sample them just for the experience. And this is, in short, an aldehydic yet balmy fragrance. Really unique, and I'm loving this. I'm going to spray some on. So I got a fragrance from Alma Parfum 1948, and this is Mr. Kiops. I just had to show you the box that it comes in because this looks like a trunk, like a vintage trunk made of leather. I believe it's real leather. I mean, this is just such a luxe casing, like total opposite of what I just mentioned of not, you know, caring about uh, the box that the fragrance comes in and everything going to the ingredients, although this does possess really amazing ingredients as well. So I will be speaking more about Mr. Kiops by Alma, which I find to be quite a unique fragrance as well. It has a beautiful backstory leading back to Egypt, so you might be able to see some of the Egyptian markings there. And I just love the fact that this comes in both a 30 mil and 100 mil Brands need to get on this, like having a travel size that comes with your big size perfume because people have a hard time committing to 100 mil. So just putting that out there. Then I purchased a beautiful classic. This is Isatis by Givenchy. And this is, yeah, a grand dame of a fragrance, one that you just need to know. It's a reference scent. And this is a gorgeous floral, uh, old school, woman. <laughs> Nothing like what's on the shelves today 
So therefore I got this for a good price. I hope that they do not discontinue her. She is one of those that definitely goes into the perfume history books. So I got a cute little 30 ml of Isatis that I could just, you know, throw into my bag or whatnot. Now, guys, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Remember when I mentioned in my summer lineup that I was wanting to get uh, Oud Orange from Fogon Dubois? Yes, here she is. Oud Orange from Fragrance du Bois. Moment of silence. No, so this brand definitely thinks about the packaging. <laughs> um, not for perhaps the deep into the darkest niche tunnel people, because, you know, we can discuss this <laughs> in another video. But Oud Orange Intense is a parfum uh, concentration by Fragrance du Bois. Why am I having a hard time taking this out? And I said that this was a little bit similar to Oud Orange by Montal, and I gracefully take that back because I do find this a bit different. And it says an original perfume by Fragrance du Bois, born in nature, crafted in France, yada yada, very shiny, very a la Roja Parfum and uh, yeah I will be talking more about this one as well but look how pretty okay we only have two left ah oh, this is coming to an end so yeah sorry to interrupt the video guys but I forgot a couple of fragrances and this is just indicative of how crazy I am and how many that I have but I also got uh, from Mona Diorio which is an Amsterdam based brand, Swed de Swed, which, you know, I've been looking for a proper interior of a bag suede. And this to me is the truest form that I've been able to find. So I'm really happy about uh, getting this one and I will be speaking more about that too. Then by Andy Tower, Tower's uh, Towerville line, which is, you know, a little bit more affordable than the rest of the Tower fragrances. I got Rose Flash. This is one that I got a while ago. Haven't used so much of it yet, but this is a very, I would describe it as a pulpy rose. So this is kind of like the rose you get in a potpourri, but, you know, minus the rest of the spices. And uh, not at all sweet. A pretty lovely mysterious rose. I don't think I've smelled one that's similar, although I've heard that the one from Calligraphy, the rose one, smells kind of like this, but I haven't tried that one. But I'm pretty happy with Rose Flash by Tower. Then I got by Trudon, which is a candle making company, and I've spoken about them in my candle video. Multiple of you said that I should try out their fragrances. I did. I like uh, a few from the line. And the one that I ended up getting is Revolution, which is their smoky, extremely smoky fragrance that dries down a little bit softer in the smoke. My number one smoke is, of course, Bois d'Assez by Naomi Goodsir, but this one comes now in a close second. So this is a lovely, lovely smoky fragrance if you're into that bonfire feel. Flying Torso sitting over there thinking, when the heck did you buy all of these fragrances? Um, but yeah, so back to the rest of the haul. So most recently I got Beso Beach, Beso Canala, and this is a cinnamon ambery, very warming fragrance. I actually wanted to get this in the midst of summer because I just, you know, I felt like it contributed to that summer goddess vibe that I was aiming for and I'm always aiming for, <laughs> but I didn't. And then she went on sale and then I went click you are mine so this bottle is actually bigger than I remember it being when I saw it in store but uh, I was kind of like because I got the Prin Lomros fragrance and this together like I kind of just threw it in because I was getting a discount right after I was kind of like uh should I have gotten that but then as soon as I opened this I was like I don't regret a thing so yes Beso Canala ambery rich fragrance that works for summertime as well, works for wintertime. This is a very sweet scent, um, sweeter than I usually go for, but you know what? My taste is here and there, it's everywhere. So on the days where I feel like smelling like a sweet, delicious treat, then I will wear a Beso Canala, and I think it will be more often than not 
this winter and also in the warm weather. So I'm excited about this one. I don't regret a thing. And then last but not least, I finally got my hands on Sana Jardin's Sandalwood Temple, which was the fragrance that I feel like I would get the most wear out of after I tried out their Discovery set. So yes, they have a beautiful line. I have a video about them. I'll leave that up above. This is my sandalwood creamy, milky sandalwood of choice. I must do a sandalwood video because <sighs> yeah, this is definitely a popular one. I think this is the best seller among the line or right after Tiger by her side, which is the amber fragrance. And so yes, we must talk more about sandalwood because that is such a favorite of a fragrance category. So that was my last one, right? Yeah, no more over here. Quite a few things, I guess. I'd, I've done pretty well. And uh, I've banned myself from buying any more fragrances for the rest of the year. Let's see how that goes. Please remember that I have a fragrance YouTube channel. There are definitely people out there who get way more than I do. Collectors, I'm not a real collector. I've said that before. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed today's video, you guys. The fragrance fairy has come your way with a haul. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna be until my next haul video, but I absolutely enjoyed this one. So I'm gonna go and enjoy all of the fragrances that I have, and I wish you all a wonderful day, evening, night, morning, whatever it is.